topic called as infiltration index. Infiltration index. So infiltration index is used to calculate what amount of infiltration will take place. Okay. So why we need to calculate infiltra infil uh, infiltration? Because infiltration is a loss to us. As a hydrology engineer, infiltration is a loss to us. So uh, we calculate first precipitation. What is the amount of precipitation? Then we calculate the losses. Then we subtract losses from the precipitation to get the surface runoff, which is of prime concern to us. So to calculate the surface runoff, it is important for us to calculate what is what is the amount of infiltration? So one of the method to calculate the in, calculate infiltration is infiltration index. What is infiltration index? So infiltration index represents infiltration index represents average rate of infiltration throughout the entire storm. Okay, so infiltration index represents average rate of represents average rate of infiltration throughout the throughout the entire storm this point is very important average rate of infiltration okay average rate of infiltration see why this came we are taking average rate of infiltration means before uh, before if we see to calculate the infiltration there is one more method Horton's equation so in Horton's equation what happens is Horton's uh, conducted experiment and he concluded that we, we all know that infiltration decreases with 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 time okay initially the infiltration will be maximum as the soil will be very dry and as soon as the rain comes uh, the soil will absorb the moisture at maximum rate but as soon as the uh, as soon as time decrease uh, time increases infiltration decreases we know generally right so what is what he said that initially the infiltration capacity is maximum and it decreases exponentially and reach a steady state condition so what was the, what was the problem in that like why infiltration index came? Because we, in Horton's equation, we need to calculate F0, Fc at uh, k values. Okay, these are all the, uh, k is a constant. So, we need to calculate all this thing. Instead of all those things, we say in infiltration index that we will assume an average rate of infiltration. So, we are assuming average, we are saying that what infiltration index represents? Represents average rate of infiltration throughout the entire storm. Now, there are two types of infiltration index. There are two types of infiltration index. First is phi index and second is W index. So this both represents average rate of infiltration. So what is the difference between these two? I'll explain it with an example. How what is the difference and what they all what what phi index means, what W index means. They both means the average rate of infiltration. Then why we are defining two index values? Okay, so I will I will tell the difference between phi index and W index. First, let let's discuss what phi index is. So see. What phi index is? First, I'll tell the definition of uh, what phi index is. Then I will explain it. Okay. So phi index represents average rate of infiltration for that rainfall which is contributing to runoff. Okay. For that rainfall which is contributing to runoff. Now, what I am saying in the definition, I'll explain you with the diagram. Okay. So I am saying that phi index represents only that ra rate uh, only for that rainfall which is giving runoff values. Okay. So see how, what it means actually. Once I draw the diagram and then you can understand. Suppose if I draw a rainfall heightograph, which is uh, for rainfall intensity that is mm per hour or centimeter per hour, whatever unit. And with respect to time, time in hours or days or whatever it is. Okay. So this is a uh, rainfall heightograph. It represents precipitation. Okay. So this is like if I draw it, suppose this is the rainfall heightograph which I which are plotted between intensity versus time. What is rainfall heightograph uh, uh, is a way of presentation of rainfall. So the area of this bars give us precipitation. Now if I draw a phi index or W index, suppose I am drawing a phi index. So it will be like this. Suppose this is phi index. What I said is 
it represents average rate of infiltration okay so why i can superimpose this phi index curve in this hydrograph because phi index curve also can be plotted between fc infiltration capacity versus time so if i take fc also fc unit is same mm per hour infiltration capacity uh, rate infiltration rate infiltration capacity is maximum rate of infiltration okay so it also represents its unit is also mm per hour or centimeter per hour so that's why we can take here we can superimpose this two so this is representing precipitation and this is representing infiltration so if from precipitation i subtract infiltration i'll get runoff okay now see what is the what is phi index now if suppose if this this whole area is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 what i said that phi index represents average rate of infiltration for the rainfall which is contributing to runoff okay so below the below this phi index below this phi index curve whatever the area it represents infiltration above this represent runoff so in the definition i am saying that it represents only that rainfall which is contributing to runoff so if i want to write phi index if i want to take phi index i can take what see this a1 is this a this area this hydrograph is contributing to runoff yes it is contributing see above this phi index line i am getting some uh, runoff value okay is this contributing no this is also not contributing this is contributing this is contributing so for phi for calculation of phi index i will consider a1 plus a4 plus a5 divided by the same time interval like suppose this is the time interval t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 so i'll be taking t1 plus i'll not take t2 and t3 why because it is not contributing to runoff then i'll take t4 plus t5 so this is phi index this is not the formula for phi index this is just to explain you that for the calculation of phi index which bar bars we have to take okay which values we have to take into consideration okay so phi index represents the average rate of infiltration for those rainfall value which is contributing to runoff okay now if i see w index w index i'll draw the same like the same hydrograph here i'll draw the same hydrograph here for w index this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 this is a4 this is a5 okay so if i take w index if i take w index then see if i take w index so w index represents average rate of infiltration throughout the entire storm it represents average rate of infiltration throughout the entire storm so see if this is like if i write w index it is same like this is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so it represents average rate of infiltration for the entire storm so for the entire storm if i take it will be a1 plus a2 c here we were taking only a1 not a2 a3 a4 a5 we were taking why because it was only the values which are contributing to runoff we have to take this but in this for the entire storm we will calculate the w index okay so a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 divided by t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 plus t5 okay so this is the w index this is not the formula this is just to explain you what is the difference between phi index and w index this is the first difference in phi index we consider only those values which is contributing to runoff in w index we consider for the entire storm now next if we see the another difference in phi index what whatever the losses initial losses like in uh, interception loss depression storage whatever the losses it will accommodate in the phi index itself but in w index we will separately subtract the losses okay so if i want to derive the formula if i want to write the formula for phi index or w index no need to remember the formula just understand the concept okay no need to uh, remember uh, means memorize the formula you will you'll get the formula itself okay see if i consider a catchment if i consider a catchment what will be the input in the catchment precipitation 
Okay, input in the catchment is precipitation. I'm uh, I'm denoting it by P. What is the output? We want runoff. Okay, runoff or runoff depth, which is represented by R. Okay, and what will be the what will what if precipitation? We will subtract the, here. There will be some losses. Okay, so infiltration is also a loss. So if I want to calculate loss, what I can write? Loss is equal to precipitation minus runoff. Okay, so infiltration in index phi index also represent what infiltration. So what what it will be? P minus R. Okay, now it represents average rate of infiltration. Rate means with respect to time. That's why I'm dividing it by time. So as simple as that. This is the formula. P minus R divided by T. You can see here. P is the precipitation. If we subtract, if we if, if I subtract the losses, I'll get runoff. So P minus losses is equal to runoff. So if I want losses, so it will be P minus R is equal to losses. Here the losses infiltration, and because it is red, that's why I'm dividing it by T. Now see here, if I write it as P E and T E, I am writing it as P and T because here I'm taking effective rainfall. Only those rainfall which are contributing to runoff. I will take this rainfall, this rainfall, this rainfall. I will not take all the rainfall. And similarly for the time, I will take this time, this time, and this time. Not all the times. So this is the this is the formula. There is no need to remember this formula. You can just just understand the formula. Okay. So it is P minus E, P minus R divided by T. If you see for W index, for W index, the formula is. P minus R minus initial losses. What I said the second difference is phi index itself will accommodate the initial losses. But in W index we have to separately separate the initial losses. Initial losses divided by time. It it also represents the average rate of infiltration. So obviously divided by time. And here I am not writing P E and T because for the entire storm I have to consider. This is just to show you. This is not the formula. This is also not the formula. This is just to explain you the difference between phi index and W index. So it is clear. This is phi index. This is W index. Now next is whether phi index is greater or W index is greater. Okay. So you you can think what is greater. So it is always phi index greater than W index. Or sometimes it is equal for uniform distribution of soil. Phi index is equal to W index. So this is also one more important point. Phi index. Is always greater than or equal to W index. How come? How this is happening? Phi index is greater than W index. See, for phi index, if I am calculating phi index, see here, if I am calculating phi index, okay, I am taking this a one, a two, like area also, I am taking less here. If you see W index, I am taking more area. But here you can observe. Time interval is also reducing. I am not taking all the time intervals, so this is reducing. This value is increasing. Okay, and here I am subtracting the initial losses also. Okay, so therefore phi index is greater than or equal to W index. So this is all about phi index and W index. Thank you.